previously on Man of Medan. Oh, whoa! Whoa! Wait, what? Oh! That looks different! What are you doing? Stop it! Brad, stop! Did it? Um... Um... Wait, that was our knife! Oh no! Confront? Jump? Uh! Stop. <gasps> no. And what about Conrad? Took a step into the unknown, I fear. Too bad. <sighs> Go on, back to it. I mean, at least he isn't really trashing me over it, but he's still like, you know, ironically acknowledging it. Fuck! How am I supposed to know? I should have confronted that thing, man! The ship must be cursed. It's the only way we can explain all this evil shit that's happening down there. Like, I thought maybe he's, <laughs> he's gone on top of the haystack or something. Okay. You know, anything soft and not the a... fuck happened to my brother? But Someone then it was going to the water. He... <laughs> I saw him. I, I mean, Fliss and I both did, uh, right? <clears throat> yeah, but just for a second, I tried to catch up and he was gone. Gone where? Why? I, this, this just doesn't add up. Should have never split up. We should have stuck together. This would never have happened. He jumped off the funnel. Or maybe he fell, I don't know, but he was scared, he was terrified. He jumped? He jumped? Oh my god, I'm gonna be sick. What the hell was wrong with you back there? What? Brad, you lost your shit, like big time, you almost killed me. What, what are you talking, come on, no, no come on, that's ridiculous. The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just- this can't all be happening. Maybe like one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much Conrad, I'm so sorry. <laughs> There's gotta be something going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? Where's the gold? Is this a ghost ship? <laughs> Am I crazy or are we on a ghost ship? I was gonna say the same thing. Well, I know we're not the first people to see weird shit here. Apparently the guards were super freaked out by something they saw in the cargo holds. What happened on the ship? Where are the crew? What happened? What do you think actually happened to this place? Beat me, man. I saw 1947 on the newspaper. There's a weird... Where's... Why are we still talking about gold? Actually, give, if, given that you're giving us you twice, gold? anything? It might be time to accept there's no gold here. Oh yeah, the gold that the people want for. Yeah, yeah. Place is weird. Where are the crew? Now I again have these two. What? Why are they repeating the? What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? You can smell death everywhere. It's like a tomb. So where did all the corpses come from? Apparently, getting scared to death is an actual thing, because I'm pretty sure that's what happened to these guys. We know more than we did before. That's something, at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. 
The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it, That's then we great, could get but the helicopter. Still works? Just need man, to find a way up Julia's there. so messed up, man. I'm so sorry. Like, you know, it's my fault, basically, that he died, so... God fucking damn it. Why would... How did... You can't front it. You gotta get off this damn ship. No shit. <laughs> what was I supposed I to believe you're... happens? Speaking that when I confront it, that it, you know... That it just scream and it's gonna, you know, or that I have to confront the things that scare me to survive? Man, fuck you. Fuck you, game. I was such a. I know it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. True. True. Yeah. The... Oh. Oh. Wait. So this ship killed the. Oh. Maybe. Oh. Wait. I never put it like that. Maybe it was something on the airplane that you know. Maybe the gold is actually still down there. Somewhere. Maybe. On red. I'm so sorry. Wait, shouldn't his corpse still be laying around you now, though? Because we were up there. Again, I didn't know in which direction it was facing, so... I'm trying to find excuses, you know? But again, like... Jumping seemed like... Like a better way to escape than... You know. God fucking damn it. They're confronting it. Like, what? Confronting whatever that thing was. It's... <sighs> Man! Find a way up. Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. I'm wondering right now, though, already. Will I finish one super massive game without anybody dying? Thus far, we are 0 2. I've had people die in the quarry. Five, to be, on, uh, to be exact, at least from the main characters. And now, wait, can I. Oh, there. Um, and now, already one of five. Hell yeah. Hey, a little help over here. <laughs> Do you see how... Did you see how there was an empty space next to Julia where Conrad would have stood? Come on. Why are you doing this to me? Oh, what a morning right now, though. Could have everybody died except these two here already? Like, that other people wouldn't have been in that shot now? Probably. Like, again, the other guy could have probably killed Brett. Couldn't, couldn't Fliss also have died down there? That's all stuff I will find out once I finish the game, because then I will immediately go to YouTube and check, okay, what choice should I have made and what would have affected what, and how many deaths are there, and blah, blah, blah. I could obviously do replays and everything, but ah, I will check it out like that. <sighs> okay, we already gotta know that something we may... Wait, never mind. We will have to go back down, actually, again. Because we're still looking for... I like, still gotta put the, the thing back in. Plus, what happened to the Danny guy? What happened generally to the other pirates or whatever? This is where I chased Conrad before. What? Chase whom's? Guns, ref? Over here. Got a way through here. Wait, stop. Let me check the other corners, please. I mean, I guess I gotta do this now. Please give me the opportunity to get back. Would be nice. Oh. I'm sure there was another thing on the left. Let's check. Oh, damn. FPS getting all here. 25. Come on, don't do this to me. Give me the good FPS. What you doing? Oh, look, another corpse. What a surprise. Everybody just literally... Everybody just died. Everybody saw something and boom. Lockbook. Last log shows I'm caught in a storm. No damage reported. We did storm force.
Hearing updated. Operational locks for SSC. See going down. Noon. Thick fog. Increasing heads. Fog very thick. Dense fog continues. Okay, but. Military bandwidth. Alice found a campsite with Madden on it. Alex found a locker with the name Orange, and then it would begin with M. What is this? Con what? A corpse? What a corpse? I can't check. That seems that seems unusual for the game. Not a prohibition. Countering distress signal, loose cannon. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, that's the... That's the, that's the bloody forehead guy from the pirate crew. Or whatever they are. Um, killing himself. Huh. Probably because he saw something so terrifying as to kill himself like in Bird Box. Here, so many doors. Oh, is it just going to be another door I can't open? God damn it! Go for here before. Wait, actually, never mind. This looks like I should. Which direction to go? Left or right? Which one? Find a radio yet? Ah, turn around. No, but there's gotta be a radio. I mean, yeah, but I'm not exactly confident about our chances of survival at this point. Shh. It also just. Why would you do this, man? Game. Why would you just give me these doors that I can't even literally open? What's the point? God damn it! Take you forward now. There's a map here again. Oh. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Hmm. Like hide and seek out in the ocean? Land route, actual route. Okay, that's interesting. For a dollar, he told me his secrets. Let me guess, I found so many secrets already that I got an achievement for it? Maybe. Another piece of paper here. Uh, ship was blown off course. Cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Drift in shallow waters. Location unknown. Huh. Go further there? Nope. All the way to go is here. We definitely have the radio here. We have another corpse laying around. Can I? Yeah, that's gross. Looks like this poor sucker bit it right in the middle of his message. Radio operations. Medical broadcast. Radio contact intermittent. Have the Morse SMS. Many crew dead. Hmm. Sounds pretty desperate. I die. Damn. <sighs> Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years, as long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Ah, it's working. Can you just say it works? It's a number station. Military bandwidth. Let's ask them for help. Hey, hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Hearing oh, updated. We got him. Uh, this is an emergency. Our coordinates are. Coordinates are 1,000 times more important. If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. 
Our coordinates are approximately uh, 12 degrees, 30 minutes south, 151 degrees, 20 minutes west. Please, get here now. We need help. Please repeat. Please Fuck. Just listen. This is an emergency. We're not... We're on the orange meeting. We're on this, like, old freighter. We think the name of it is the Iran Medan. Hello? The name Hello? of this vessel. Is anyone out there? Please, come And in. it's Medan. Orang Medan. It's the, oh. They actually got an achievement for this. I feel hey. like... Come here, look. Let me guess. If I wouldn't have found these things, then I couldn't have said the name right now. Or the thing saying the name actually got us a little bit effed up. This has got to lead somewhere. No Maybe we can't find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go. Obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the picture's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. So, what do you think? I got this, if you're sure you're up for it. I feel like Alex still is a bit, you know? I got... I got this. I'm not losing you to this fucking ship. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. You're not my bodyguard. I can take care of myself. I'm still the captain of something and the captain's telling you that I'm going to all right you everybody's okay oh so we two go down here I guess my choice of effect now who goes down and who not oh oh let me guess they dropped down somewhere but didn't die unlike someone else It was already 4 a.m. Are you still alive? You guys all right down there? Okay, tourist pipe down. Yeah, we're okay. I'm okay. You see anything? Many times I could use I say nothing too. What happens if we used to just say nothing we all the time? How, I still don't. I still wonder where she had this from. How she still has it. This way. Before we do that, let's please, let's check some things first. Okay, Alex was open to offended that he's considered a tag along. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're really high with Julia actually. Okay, lots of secrets to meet the Manhat. The name of the shit is Orang Midan. The Midan shut it down. Gunners on the ship attacked the sea, a rescue plane. The plane must have been flying down too low, dropped a life, but when it was shot at. They did not know their location when they anchored. Someone blown the ship, of course. Republic of China to. Oh, I'm actually on the orange ship. It was seen from the Republic of China. San Francisco. Okay, so they didn't come really far. Now, did the stupid cap got an update? Okay, and military bandwidth. Did the group discover the radio made contact with military station? They, they gave their coordinates and revealed that the name of the ship was Orang Midan, which probably makes people think, oh god, this can't be because it's been, you know. The distributor cap, though. Alex and Fliss went down the hole in the radio room. Looks like we're in the lower levels of the ship. Oh, sick bay! I remember that from the prologue. We're gonna see Joe here. I mean, obviously, it's dead for a while, actually. Should be, at least. So, you know. Oh, wait, were we here, actually? No? Oh, no. Okay, just, just let him. 
medical officer's report. You could found it's going to do test. Issue was manifold. I feel like it's always just easier to go here and then just read what, what that thing says. Update the ship crew attacked the B9 due to halu. Oh. Update the ship crew attacked the B29 due to hallucinations. Wait, what? So they attacked it because the, what? They were scared or something? A confession from a person known as Scientist X saying that what the Americans call name Mancurian Gold was an investigation into the stupid chemicals on the battlefield. The chemicals caused violent Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. 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 Now the thing is though. Again, the things we were getting thrown at look real. So, you know, confronting the, the whatever that was up there. But, like, I guess it were actually a hallucination, which is why I shouldn't have jumped and said confronted it. And then maybe it would have been fine. Because So, these, these, these gases and tanks we saw, you know, the code name maturing gold actually is about the chemicals. Or the chemicals. And the chemicals are the ones that, that got leaked due to the water or whatever. And have got and has given us these extreme hallucinations that like you know drove us into insanity or in this case also death Woo! but like let me actually read that now again though this is actually quite important piece of information let me check it again please I want to read through it fully now that i know what it really does Excellent meeting with our team. The same the Western must be protected from the incident. Investigate Jimmy Gun Ballage, Angel Warfare Act, blah blah blah. Gen isn't it general protocol that we're, you know, war crimes and stuff like that? You need to test effects of, on human subjects to the molecular crystal structure loose and loose and go called the Mercury Gold. Champion Gun Munitions Battle was. Mental Miner observed to trigger significant hallucination. You see and hearing things that really were not there, even the danger was manifold and in its intensity. Well, theory was right about the gas doing something to the people, making them imagine things that aren't actually there. And actually consider hallucinations. But again, it all seemed real and still like danger. Like there was some sort of faint and Mrs. Charlie went to the brig. Why would that? Yo, right. Didn't, didn't, didn't I see this earlier? Isn't this the place? The cell here? But man, I guess I should have known now that any time I see something on familiar David. Yeah, I read this. Retraining cell. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I read all this already. We're now here where. Joe was in the sick bay. Yeah. We're now on the path of the prologue, basically. You know your staff is growing by the hour now, huh? Hourly now? I would have thought we graduated to charge by the minute. Noted. In your invoice. Sick bay, there's a door. But I will go here first. Just the picture that we saw. The way you have to hit these things from specific angles, yeah? Wait, isn't that the kid actually? Or is it Might have been the son of someone on board. Two pops, come back soon. Maybe the kid of the captain. Okay, this is the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the same corpse, you know, wow. who saw. Jesus. We're on the path of the flow. Question this is already the final chapter or second to last? I'm already at nearly five hours, but also I said it would like reaching some breaks, so. We would found. Fit and healthy young man of two of us, no known medical conditions, explanatory military groups, able to calm them during the course of our meeting and test for speech. Complete case of COSR. Not the roses. Oh, date 19, yeah, yeah. Exos Hall. Stress. Evidence of panic. Like, during his watch the earlier this week, but this was, wasn't this before the, the tanks with the gas came in and the chemicals? Okay, is it chemicals or chemicals? Is it chemical? Yeah, the symptoms are very unusual for him. That's the most important bit. Maybe actually started earlier already than you know we saw it. Or like 
before actually the gas and all came in. Okay. Where to next? Go there. Or can I move there for uh ah, this little bit? Okay. Like we gotta move here. Yeah, no. Could like Brad could have easily been shot probably or stabbed or something. While um she could have probably also died, huh? But again though, I still am pissed that I couldn't check the the coffin and stuff. That's what really annoys me. That I did not were able to check the coffin with with uh why do I keep forgetting her name? With Fliss. Should have dropped out already? You know who isn't coming with me, but could be. Gotta take a look. Look down there. Yeah. I think that's the engine room. You're oh yeah. Right. I was about Let's to say what you're seeing. And obviously, maybe we could have also. Could the game actually Shit. be over here already? No more ladder. I can drop the rest of the way. Hey. Maybe we could. All could have died already. Are you okay? Come on, that was just yeah. a little jump. Fine. Come on. Down. I mean, me and my effed up knee would obviously, you know, but especially without boots. Wait, why did he? Wait, wasn't he barefoot earlier? Why did he get the shoes? Fuck! God damn it! What? Uh, you didn't fucking see that? Hey, I will make a compilation of every single time I got scared in this game because the man, you know, I was, I was so, I was so fully. Into into the into my mindset and my own questioning of wait didn't he have no shoes on early and then boom like if I keep like I distract myself with with questions and then the game just relentlessly says now throw it in now scare him right. fuck no I think this was my biggest flinch thus far too what yeah I think I'm actually seeing clearly for the first time in a while. Nothing jumped out at me. So, the ship was carrying Manchurian gold. But that turned out not to be gold at all. It's a toxic chemical. And there's this weird fog everywhere, right? Well, maybe that's Manchurian gold. And maybe we're breathing it in and it's fucking us right the hell up. This is kind of making sense. Finally, someone in knowledge is fuck! And that there's smoke Sorry. around! We knew the crew was scared of something and that could be it. Yeah. Maybe so. Could this have anything to do with the wrecked plane from the dive? It was a search and rescue plane. The whole reason it even came out here was because the people on the ship sent out a distress signal. I guess by the time the plane got here, it was too late. Everyone on the ship had lost their minds, so they shot it down. Who knows what the hell they were thinking? Or what they thought they saw? Wow. Maybe they saw a dragon or something? Okay, let's Staff keep flying around. But man, finally someone acknowledges that there's fog! And not just, you know. And now, obviously, again, I was so focused on the shoes that it scared, like, really got me this time around. But really, only because of that. Only because I was so focused on the damn smoke. And I don't like that she's following me like this because I feel like that signalizes that. Never mind, she keeps following me. God damn it, where am I supposed to go? This way is for the secret. Okay, another room, another log, another information piece. Telegraph lock. Engine room telegraph lock. I had a engine spit up. Engine to set the standard speed. Any order from chief. Engine room for emergency inspection. This. Stump bell notch. The ship was anchored. Engine room telegraph lock. I mean, obviously it was anchored. Otherwise, it wouldn't be standing around here still, right? Or received to anchor in shallow water. Let's let's check the secrets again because I think we got some updates. Maybe, maybe not. Notes written by physician on board. Ship described. Wait. Oh yeah. Pain symptoms. It was diagnosed suspected. For a second, I thought, wait, why is it physician? Shouldn't it be physicist? 
because in, in the quarry, Dylan wanted to be a physicist. Well, not a physician, but I said physician because physician is actually something, you know, medical and not physical. Like with physics. <sighs> but hey, I'm actually doing this in one go through, man. Who knows, maybe if I was a bit, you know, maybe if I would have done a cut in the middle, I would have saved Conrad. Who knows? I still thought it only made more sense to jump away from whatever there was instead of fucking confronting it. With what? He didn't have anything. What could he have done that could have, you know? God fucking damn it. It's going to be another one of these deaths like the Maxwell where I would just be upset instead of really sad about it because it feels so... Oh, that looks... Carved in. Like, punched in. Instead of, you know, just broken. I feel like we're gonna get another picture soon, right? Seems like a good place. Hey. Wait. Is Isn't that breathing? ours? I bet the fisherman brought it from the Duke. You think it still works? Wait, but. Uh, it's got maybe. Wait, why was he calling fishermen? Like, what that means they, they were us? here already. It's gonna slow us down. Mm, no, forget it. It's too heavy to drag along with us. Assertive, take it, leave it. Um. Well, just like they said, it's really heavy, but it may also save us if we have to go. Not worth the risk. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, these are not. They obviously fucked up now, too, right? No. It's a bit of smoke around. I don't know, stab kills are always so brutal to me. Oh! Stab kills are always so brutal. I think stabbing is like, you know... Uh-oh. The smoke, yeah, yeah. Girl, why are you looking? Girl, duck down, please. He will see you. I really love this mini game though. I really, really love it. You like really need good timing for it. Again, what would have happened if the other people were down here? We check for him. Wait, let's check this first. Let's read some information first, you know. Always love to do that. Top secret. The shipment of cats unload earlier, especially like current and left with the utmost sensitivity. What? Oh no! Why? Inspect, I need to inspect, I need that thing. Huh? Did why didn't I pick up the thing? Wait, what the Man, that was Yeah, what could I have grabbed it or How was I supposed to know I couldn't explore? Problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. I mean, I guess I should have guessed it after, you know. After the thing early where I couldn't check the casket again. You can't have all the gold. Then I'm to be left here. Nah. But I am the cat. 
See what he does. I say we run. We gotta wait. If we run, he will see us. Let's see what he does. Ah, the smug Americans have smashed their way into a foreign land and come up short. The generators are on. The gold is mine. And now I'm the one who gets to smash. Me! With my big fucking armor! I know, that was intense, but again, couldn't I, could I have picked it up already and I have it now or not? Like a bearing didn't update, so I don't know. I guess it's still like, you know, supposed to happen this way. Or maybe. Come on, Alex, help me! How, how strong do you think this door is? I was just gonna ask you that. Okay. Okay. None of you move. Hey, Junior? None of you go all changing on me now. Turn around. Slow. Real slow. Again, we saw he may shoot himself, so. Okay. Alright. No changing. None of that. Raise your hands up. Slow. No, no. Not like that. I said, no changing. Whoa, 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 listen. Listen to me. We have no fight with you. We all just want to get out of here safely. You understand? I'm sorry, but if you're breathing, then you don't got much of a choice in the matter. You don't got to say. Ah, not again. It's all good changing on oh, me! Oh no, he's seeing it again. What? What's changing? Stay away! Oh, now everything around I him changes no again mist. like it did earlier for hey, us! There's no mist, man! Don't breathe it! Something in the mist! Don't breathe the mist! I know! What does the mist do? There is no mist! Bro! You already read what the mist and smoke does! What you mean there is no mist? Wait, what is this mist? Do you know what it is? Life, bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive. Or is it something else? It's inside now. Inside you already read about the chemicals. The you fuck? You need to slow down. Stop! Stop! It's in one of us, isn't it? Put the gun down now. Why would you say that? Why are you telling me what to do? Yeah, you breathe in the mist. It's happening. I can feel it. There was something in the last room. There is no mist. Okay. Look, there was something in the last room. A, a, a fog or a mist, maybe? You know that! What you questioning? Did you breathe it in? Sure, we all did a little. Desperate. We all did a little, yeah? Sure. I mean, we, we all did a little. <gasps> ah! No! No! No!
This way, I guess. Oh, come on! It's just like that fucking movie with the ship and the, the water. The way he left dancing. God damn it. Don't I get a stunt double at least? Well, this is just riveting. He just heard the two shots. Hey, what the fuck? Here. Seriously. Was I supposed to. Jesus, did something go wrong? No, sure no. You stay here it's, I mean, it's not your boyfriend, at least. You know, she would probably won't care if, if, you know, but. I'm gonna stay as far away from trouble as I can, and I'll be back as soon as I find the generator. It'll. It'll be fine. Watch yourself down there. I'll make the call as soon as the radio comes back on, so you better hurry the fuck back. Hey, seriously. So he got fucked up by the hallucination, right? So obviously, wouldn't it make more sense for me to say, Hey, I know what you mean. I know what you're talking about. We have this too. Calm down. Instead of, there's nothing there. No, no, no. What? What the fuck? Junior. Junior even has its own... Alex and Fliss found the re reaver but decided to leave it behind. They failed to talk. Junior down and he shot Fliss. Junior then shot himself. I mean the reaver is actually next to us in that picture so that's a bit weird but... Wait but how does the... How does, you know... How does leaving death behind affect choice whenever or not he shoots me? What? Hey, again, seriously. So yeah, that like that's what I'm wondering right now. What 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 led to him shooting her? That I left behind the, did you know? That I left behind the, the rebreather. Would it be like, oh, maybe there was hope if we have the rebreather and I won't kill you or something? Or was it like mentioned the the, the dialogue choice that I did by saying, yeah, there's something in the yeah yeah we we all break the dimly and set up now. Wait, that's not that you're hallucinating or something. Fucking hell, man. This is so fucked up. That's so fucked up, man. That this now really led to... What the fuck? Like, we didn't even see it in the vision either, right? Like, in the picture that we had gotten. Was it this one? We saw that he shot himself, but nothing else! Wait, this happen soon, actually? Oh. Oh. I think. Wait. Could have Alex died here? I feel like. I feel like either Alex or Phyllis had to be alive at that point, right? They needed to be alive to, you know? Like, that's again the thing. How would all this story now unfold if, like, Conrad maybe didn't die or if someone else went down here? But, like. Wait, no, that's the other guy. That may still happen, actually. It may still happen. We actually saw that already. I still haven't seen this one. I guess it would have happened if I would have gone for the casket, maybe. We haven't seen this one yet. This may happen still. We had this one. I haven't seen this one yet. I think we were past that already. Like mentioned, didn't get to that one because we didn't go for the boat. 
after the ship has started to investigate the man overboard. Drop down. I mean, is there something else here? Probably not. I'm mean, gonna have to drop down. Can I please leave at least more people alive than dead? Is that at least an option? Like, I don't really count Junior towards our characters, so 2 of 5 are down for now, okay? Please, not more, okay? Like mentioned, I know what I should have done to save Conrad, I should have gone for, you know? Would I really need to rebrief her to keep Junior from shooting her? That was Conrad. That was Conrad's shirt. That wasn't Joe. I again got a thing there. I swear to God, if I make it through this, I'll never even set foot on a paddle boat again. Premonition. What? Little hope. Ah! Well, countering Olsen, okay, that's the name of this part right now, but a little hope. Well, that's a spoiler for the next game for the title, yeah, but, um. Who's that? It looks like someone trying to hang themselves and ending up hanging themselves, I think. Oh, and that's a big one. I think it's a big one because, because it, you know, says little hope. Oh, we only have two more, actually. Fuck off. <sighs> Actually seems like the right path. Would the door have not opened the other one? I don't know, I don't I don't I can't bother to go back, I'm sorry. At this rate now with five hours in already. Obviously like mentioned pew little race in there. But <sighs> Secret Fallon, I guess I have to be Hawkins, Probass is almost nothing left of it. My notice is here, but proper funeral. We just have to make this work for now. Back to the reserves once you quick cut this back from <sighs> I really 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 don't know this right now. Again, they did it smart. I see a mouse, I focus on the mouse, and then BOOM! Man! Familiar. Yeah, for me, we're back in that... Wait, no, it's not the same... Or? But again, what's up with the door earlier? Again, I like mentioned, didn't bother to go back. Wait, it, never mind, it is that place. But it, is the, it, is the it is the place from earlier. <laughs> Which isn't the ballroom, but now this. And I hear Olsen. Like, again, I couldn't check this out earlier because it, the game just decided I'm like, not allowed to. Which was pretty shitty, where I still don't know if it should have just been faster with looking. And French cursing always sounds so. <laughs> Back off, attack? With what? I have nothing to attack! Oh, relax. Nobody's coming after you. Looks like isn't there a leak behind it? Oh easy, easy. We can figure something out. Hey, I really don't think that's the best idea. Bearing updated. It's gonna get fluted, huh? Yeah, and if I, with what would I have attacked him? Honestly, with what? Wait, wasn't it Alex there? 
Oh, please don't crash the thing, the, the thing, you know? Yeah, not this one. Wait, what? Why am I attacking him now? Why are you attacking him now after all? Oh, for, to get the thing, yeah. Oh, obviously the ship is sinking now. Never mind. Take it. So it won't get crushed, please. Dodge the hammer. Dodge the hammer. Brad, you can do this. Oh, no. He's going to try to stab him, right? Are that the chemicals? There's Alex. Get out of there! Come on! Yes! Was that the head guy again? Didn't see it fully. Um, oh no. Brad, could you please panic not yet? Not yet. He needs to go out there still. We need that thing. Oh, uh, hello, ghosty. Quick time event, please. Oh, we gotta crush him? Why am I so shit? Hey, why was that shit thing so fast? Hey, what the fuck? I thought it's a quick time event, so I just pressed X once. No. 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 Then realized it's suppressed, and that was what's already too late. What the fuck? Like, seriously, what the fuck? But the thing, yeah. So depending on how I play here, Olsen dies, Olsen dies and the thing gets destroyed, Olsen dies and the thing gets destroyed and, oh no actually no, or you know who survives but the thing gets destroyed, I don't know, what the, f well, uh, whatever the fuck uh, actually, the fuck whatever, wait is this ending now, are we done, looks a bit like a, like Olsen's down on too, like everybody's dead so, I mean what's gonna happen now, we got this yeah, what's with Julia, Oh, that's the thing from the pre-mission. I mean, they have each other at least still. Wait, this is actually the ending. This was actually- Is this actually the ending? Is the helicopter coming? How did I miss two prohibition shitty thingies? Yeah, this is actually the end. I think. Okay. Guess it's time to see if it's working. I guess the reason we didn't get the helicopter is because we couldn't get couldn't get back to the radio because Brett or or you know who died. He had this thing where I was never upset or disappointed. He told me this crazy bullshit about all the different parallel realities that could potentially exist. Now, no matter what, no matter how bad things seemed, there were always at least a couple other realities where. Things are probably even worse. Well, you're right, little bro. Fucking right. 
He was an asshole. Was. Honey meant well. No matter what moronic thing he was up to, he always meant well. Oh, they're talking about a big old puppy dog. She talks about her brother. He talked about his brother. There's like the <laughs> interview from the end now, like from Unto Dawn. Oh no, they're talking to each other still. Conrad giving me to look back on who who died and who didn't or like on who I did not manage to you know fucking damn it man like the first two and I actually missed two pictures that's what I'm actually surprised about that I didn't pick up all premonitions now <laughs> so what you have to say pal huh that's it game over you're done for now at least could always try again, see if you can't do better next time around. Not a very happy ending. Or maybe it is. Depends what makes you happy, really. I suppose when the curtain falls, you're either ready for it or you're not. Curtain falls, fuck you. It's all about <laughs> decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic made with the heart instead of the head or vice versa sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions but there are repercussions there are always repercussions and i checked uh before we end the credits that like we didn't get every secret we didn't find every you know I like this. Wait, this actually feels actually not really anticlimactic, any, but obviously, like the pirates were still the main villains in some way. Because, but like, we'll get to it in a moment. We wait, let's just again, we missed two pictures, two which I find weird. I don't know where else one could have been. I also found the bulk head door floating the cargo hold. Wait, could I have made it that he does not open it if I attack him? They were able to retrieve to the sewer cap from old snap after struggle in the cargo hold. And then no update. Yeah, they don't even show me that he died on here. I feel like due to my decisions, I haven't gotten all the answers I wanted. And I feel like there's a longer playthrough ending slash more more scenes in there that would have given me a bit more conclusion maybe or closure or like explanations or would show me a bit more but ultimately it actually seems like all the monsters we face weren't actually like the, the main focus but actually still the the power of people till we meet again maybe in little hope maybe somewhere else Right, they already be certain. Already knew the name. We will here. meet again. It's inevitable. We will see each other again in Little Hope, which I will do soon too. But won't you spare me over till another year? Won't you spare me I feel like this song will year. cause won't a copyright, so I will skip that. Yeah, sorry, but like I fear that this gives me. So we just, I don't think that's, yeah. I really did this in one sit through, you know? Like in what? Oh! Post credit scene! Daddy survived!
Wait, what? So they did get the coordinates after all. I thought they missed them. I thought they missed the coordinates. I didn't hear them. What? What's that? Wait, what? Why is this happening after the credits? Oh no. Are they going to smoke it in and... So out of nowhere, this thing just sent out an SOS. Is the game not over yet? Real life ghost ship here. Here we go again. Whoa. What the hell is this? Again, also this child emperor thing was never really cleared up after all. We saw the kid in the prologue, but then, you know, never again. And why are they only here as two? Why would they only send in two people? Are you sh What? If they do a scare in the post credit scene. What the fuck? <laughs> oh! So Danny yeah, is still alive and actually. Achievement unlocked, going it alone. Super Mets Games presents. I just saw someone in the woods. Whoever it was, they're gone. Going this can't be a little hope because I like I think this is a little hope, but. I haven't even installed it yet, so... Welcome to Little Hope. I think, yeah, yeah, I think they already announced that Little Hope was coming and everything. Just, yeah, yeah, just like, uh, just like in the cinema, it's now a teaser for the next game that's coming. Okay, okay, I see, I understand, I understand. All right, the man of Midan. Like anticipated, very, very, um, oh. Did I already read those things? Uh, Devil Me is coming soon, I think then it's over after that. Already have that everything, we just got saw. Um, what I want to check really was special features. I think that's something interesting maybe to look at still. History of Anthology Koro playing the fool. Secrets of Orange Midam. Unlock by collecting all 25 brass secrets. Yeah, I actually have to unlock that by getting secrets. Uh huh. I actually got a lot a lot still actually, but I can now see my collectibles afterwards. That's cool. I uh, know we're back here. There are all the secrets. Okay. Cool, cool menu design. Yeah. Um. So we did it in one sitting, like a one or two. You know, like mentioned one toilet break in there and everything, but that's it. Now, what are my thoughts? Obviously, man of me then. Who was the man of me then? Actually. Was it a kid? What a, you know, the thing is that the, the ending right now felt a little bit not necessarily anticlimactic. Like, n not only didn't feel like it would be the end already, but like the game really played a little bit with making you think and wonder who is the threat. Because again, thought in between already, okay, fog smokes, hallucinations maybe make people think stuff that's not actually there, all the kind of stuff, which turned out to be true. Um, so, and then they kind of played around with that in sense of, you know, probably, you know, just thinking of it. Maybe it's not even real, you know, because at the end of the day, we got killed only by, you know, we got killed by falling off something, a gunshot, and by getting squashed from a, from a door, you know, so not from monsters or anything. Generally, this is what's simply different in sense of that, because while well, there was a lot of mental horror going on, a lot of scares and everything of corpses... It wasn't like a really clear all through monster like we had in, you know, Hunter Dawn or the Quarry, as example. Which made a different change of dynamic, obviously, like mentioned also the tempo. Again, the pacing, the game itself was only around five hours long now. 
which is obviously way shorter in comparison to the other games. It didn't really feel felt rushed due to it, due to the length. I think that was still done good, but like mentioned, the pacing again was long walking sections, finding a secret, getting scared, repeat, until we get to cutscene, baby, okay? Now the three deaths we got, the first one, like mentioned, should have confronted, I guess. No idea if I should, if the Reaver would have resulted in not getting killed by, by Junior. And again, that thing at the end was just... We have all these quick time events, right? And I only had fighting events at that point in that fight. So I saw X, I press X once, I think I'm done, and then I realized shit. I have to, you know? And then it was already too late. That was really, it didn't really, like, obviously it's in some way my fault, but it, the game really didn't make, like, I don't know. It was hard to see in that moment straight away this is not a one button quick time event, but a spam one, you know? You know, if I would have known it's a spam one, I would have not died there. Or, like, Brad wouldn't have died there. But again, that's only death that has me a bit, you know, because other two were on my choices, I think. This one was definitely on the quick time, and I think I would have done the quick time correctly if it wasn't for that. Either way, though, I will make more of the game itself when I check for specific scenes and what could have happened and how could I have died there and all that kind of stuff, yeah. Um... Julia got kind of ditched near the end, actually. Like, she was just up there and nothing else happened with her, really. Obviously, Conrad could have been a factor still, but I messed up. Um, yeah. Deaths caught me off guard. I got scared a lot. I think that's actually worth a compilation. So many times I flinched in this. Way more than the quarry. It's definitely much scarier. Even though, again, it didn't really feel scary. There were a few moments in between where I had goosebumps and everything. Like, didn't feel terrorized and couldn't continue. But like I mentioned, there were a lot of moments that just made me flinch because they just, you know, uh, jump scares, you know, that's, that's their thing. Overall, story was interesting, you know, covering the secrets, understanding, okay, okay, hallucinations, guys, blah, blah, blah. But it still didn't end the way I think it would have, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but like it definitely ended in a different way than I think it would have probably made more sense. I don't know, like it didn't really feel like a big show in there with ghosts or whatnot. Or well, you know we didn't saw Joe again, you know, what was up with the boy and with the kid, child emperor, blah blah blah, you know. Again, I will judge better once I'm done with all the other scenes and go for that kind of stuff. For now, it was still an enjoyable ride, it was still enjoyable time, okay. Long ride too, five hours in a row. Maybe like five and a half hours in a row. You hear it on my voice as well. I will be doing a little hop and house of Ash like mentioned soon too and we'll do this also in one playthrough like that but that's why I also waited so long with doing this game because I wanted it to be in one go which definitely feels very different in comparison to you know having like a break like a long break in between and just you know stopping to play for a while so you had this entire thing in like one sequence actually but yeah man of me Dan enjoy the right scary one too is it as good as the quarry on to dawn I don't know. Probably not. Tough to call. Can't judge yet. We will see how I will feel about it. But either way. Even though three or five people died and it managed to kill more than save more. Or save more people. So fun. Still a very enjoyable time. And I hope you had a lot of fun with this playthrough. And I hope you will check out my A Little Hope. A Little Hope plus House of Ashes playthrough, plus Devil and me playthrough too. We're going for all the other super massive games in the Dark Peaches anthology in the upcoming time. But I hope you had a lot of fun with this playthrough. If you did, leave a sub, leave a like, all that kind of stuff. And i see you again up next with other horror games, other gameplays, other videos, or with Little Hope. Thank you for watching.